Today, with a little help from Excel, we are going to create some quick tables for links in OneNote. So stay with me. Well, hi everyone, I'm Crystal from A Crystal Clear Life, where we focus on planning, organizing, and living a more simplified life. And today, I want to show you how to uh, create a table uh, using Excel that you can populate with dates or uh, names of projects or names of students or whatever you happen to be doing uh, to create that and populate that quickly, then take it into OneNote and use it to generate pages and links. Okay. All right. Now, uh, if you've been with me for the last couple months, you know that I've been helping you uh, build planners in OneNote. And today, this is going to be kind of a quick way to show you how to do some of that with the help of Excel. So let's get into the computer and take a look at what I'm talking about. All right, so you see here on my screen, I have brought up Excel and I want to create a new, just a blank worksheet. And when that blank worksheet comes up, uh, you'll see it looks like every other blank Excel worksheet. Now, uh, if you were a veteran Excel notebook user, you know that all you need to do uh, to create or to get things started in Excel is to fill in a date and then you can uh, drag that down and uh, it will populate that column for you. So let me show you what I mean. Let's say uh, we're going to go in here and we're going to do uh, December 1st, 2023. And then we will establish the pattern and we'll say December 2nd, 2023, like so on. Okay. And so you see it has changed that date. You can format it to whatever you want. This happens to work well for me. But all I need to do now is uh, come up here and I can grab that corner and I can go on down. And there you see it does every day exactly the way I need it to be. Okay. Didn't have to type all of those things in there. That's absolutely great. Okay. Now I can take this entire uh, list and I can copy that and I can go into OneNote. Let's go over to, um, do I have December? Yes. Let's go into December. And, uh, for today's demonstration purposes, I'm just going to create a new page and I am going to paste that column of numbers there. Okay. If I wanted to create a page for every one of these dates, I can do that. I can even set up a page template, uh, to go with that particular, uh, date if I would like. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over and I'm going to grab my, um, template, my daily template from my holiday planner so that I can create a daily page for every day for the month of December. Okay. For example purposes, let's say that this is what I want to use for my daily template for the month of December. Okay. This happens to be a graphic that is from DCP digitals. I'll leave a link in the uh, description below if you would like. And this is one of her monthly 31 days. So if you're somebody who maybe does, you know, that December project where you, you know, a, a journal about each day or something like that, that might be pretty cool. Okay. The one thing that I do want to do is I want to take off the, um, time. So I am going to delete that. And I also want to take out the day that it was created and I am going to cut that off. So that leaves it a little bit cleaner. Okay. Now what I need to do is I need to go up here and, uh, under page templates, uh, I can click on page templates. That brings up the page templates here on the side. And I can say down here in the very bottom corner, save current page as a template. And I can call this, um, December daily 
23 for the year 2023. Okay. Now it says set as a default template for the new pages in this con in this section. So if I check that and click save, then what that's going to do is it will set that as the default template. So if you look back down here at the bottom, it says December daily 23, uh, which is one of my templates is going to be the page that it creates every time I create a new page in this section. Okay. So back to our list that we did from, um, Excel, where it populated all of this for us. All I need to do now is go in here and highlight all of that and give it a right click link to pages. Now watch the pages list over here uh, on the right hand side. What it's going to do is it's going to create a new page with that page template and turn all of these things into a link. Okay. You ready? Here we go. And there they are. Let's go check them out. All right. So here are all of our links. They're now underlined and here are all of our pages over here on the side. Okay. If I look at pages and I click on one of those pages, there is one December 23. Okay. So it automatically puts that title in there for me. Click on number two. There is December the 2nd. Okay. If we go back to our list now and we click on any of those pages, December 9th, there is December 9th. Okay. So that is fantastic. Now, because this background is a graphic, all of these numbers that you see here are uh, not links. Okay. Uh, they are simply graphics that look like links. So if I click on them, nothing happens. Okay. But, um, you do see that when I click on the page that I get this little dashed and dotted line around there telling me that that's a graphic. What I need to do is before I try to write or do anything on this page, I need to set that page as the background. Okay. Then when I click on it, it does not move around and I can go ahead and start filling in exactly what I want. Okay. So you can see how quickly it was to go into Excel, generate that whole long list of dates and bring it into OneNote, set up the daily that you wanted and create a daily page for each one of those. Think about all the things that you could do. Contacts for, um, you know, family members, uh, notes for your students, um, you know, uh, gift ideas for all of your family members and neighbors. Uh, it just goes on and on all the things that you could do and the way that Excel populates that list for you so quickly, I think is just amazing. It's just a great, incredible tip. Okay. I like to use uh, Excel to create tables, uh, and then bring them in to OneNote. It works really great. I love the integration. Anyway, just a quick tip to help you populate, uh, those calendars, uh, that may be coming up in the new year. Hope you found this helpful. If you did, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Hit that like button. Think about subscribing if you haven't already. Turn your notifications all the way on so that you don't miss anything that's coming up in the future. And in the meantime, here's hoping that you can live a more simplified and organized life through better planning. I use OneNote. Until next time. Okay. Bye.